Virginia, or Virginia, was the subject of a story of ancient Rome, related in Livy's Aburb Condita. The people of Rome were already angry with the Decemviri for not calling the proper elections, taking bribes, and other abuses. It seemed that they were returning to the rule of the kings of Rome who had been overthrown only a few decades before. In 451 BC, Appius Claudius began to lust after Virginia, a beautiful plebeian girl and the daughter of Lucius Virginius, a respected centurion. Virginia was betrothed to Lucius Isilius, a former tribune of the plebs, and when she rejected Claudius, Claudius had one of his clients. Marcus Claudius claimed that she was actually his slave. Marcus Claudius then abducted her while she was on her way to school. The crowd in the forum objected to this, as both Virginius and Isilius were well-respected men, and they forced Marcus Claudius to bring the case before the Decemvirs, led by Appius Claudius himself. Virginius was recalled from the field to defend his daughter, and Isilius, after threats of violence, succeeded in having Virginia return to her house while the court waited for her father to appear. Claudius tried to have his own supporters intercept the messengers sent to summon Virginius, but they arrived too late to delay Virginius' arrival. When Virginius arrived two days later he gathered his supporters in the forum. Claudius, however, would not let him speak, and declared that Virginia was indeed Marcus Claudius a slave. Appius Claudius had brought an armed escort with him and accused the citizens of sedition. The supporters of Virginius left the forum rather than cause any violence, and Virginius begged to question his daughter himself. Claudius agreed to this, but Virginius grabbed a knife and, at the shrine of Venus Clochina, he stabbed Virginia. The only way he felt he could uphold her freedom, Virginius and Isilius were arrested, and their supporters returned to attack the lictors and destroy their fasces. This led to the overthrow of the Decemviri and the re-establishment of the Roman Republic. Livy compared to this to the rape of Lucretia and the overthrow of the monarchy in 509 BC. The tale is retold, with varying fidelity, in several works of Western literature, including Geoffrey Chaucer's The Physician's Tale, in his Canterbury Tales, in Thomas Babington Macaulay's Lays of Ancient Rome, and in the play Appius and Virginia by John Webster and Thomas Hayward, which includes the following lines. Two ladies fair, but most unfortunate have in their ruins raid declining Rome, Lucretia and Virginia, both renowned for chastity. Virginia is also mentioned in Titus Andronicus and her story, with a twist, is also told in Stephen Saylor's Roma.